Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast festival edition. I'm loving this one. We're with Chris McGrange Day. He's with the Fayette Watermelon Festival. Watermelon Days. I'm I'm just, I mean, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Chris, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Chris, give us a little background on you. Where did you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and career, and then let's jump into uh, Watermelon Days. Sure. Well, that would probably take up most of the time here. So I'll just I'll just highlight here a little bit. But I grew up in Northeast Iowa, small town, Fairbank. And um, um, my dad was in a band. So I, I had a lot of musical experience growing up, uh, being around a lot of music. Um, I, I ventured out to the Des Moines area and got to Lived there for about 10 to 12 years and and dabbled a little bit into like the TV and radio career. Oh, nice. Um, and then, yeah. And then um, I met my wife and she actually was from Northeast Iowa as well. And so we ended up getting together and we settled down here in Fayette, Iowa, which is basically about a half an hour away from where I was born and raised. So another small town. Um I, I currently, as a career, I am a, a city administrator for the city of Fayette, okay. um, but I was on our Fayette Watermelon Days committee years before I became uh, the city manager, so so um, yeah, that's a little Perfect. bit about me anyway. All right, let's jump into this Watermelon Day. So I always yeah. ask these three questions when, when someone uh, who's never been there before, when they step out of their car, what are they going to, number one, what are they going to see? Number two, what are they going to smell, meaning food? Number three, what are they going to hear, meaning music, environment, activities going on? Sure. Well, we promote free family fun. That's okay. kind of our big uh, thing that we started promoting about 10 to 15 years ago. And one of the reasons is, is um, Fayette County is, or Fayette, the city of Fayette is actually located in Fayette County, which is again in Northeast Iowa. It's one of the poorest counties in Iowa, mm. um, as far as income. So we, um, I work with an awesome volunteer team and we kind of came together and strategized that a lot of the town celebrations that you go to along uh, around here. Um, you just have to spend a lot of money. And we're all like, you know, there's not really a whole lot of that around. Uh, and we all want more money. You can never have enough. And so we thought, how can we target people to just say, hey, you don't have to bring a lot of money. You can just come and enjoy a big variety of things. So free family fun is what we promote the the biggest, I guess, with our event. Um, it's always the weekend after Labor Day. So it's in September. Okay. Um, a little different than a summer festival. Um, and uh, as far as food, of course, we have free watermelon. Like, you have to have free <laughs> watermelon. Um, other than that, we bring in food trucks. We have local food vendors. Um, you can get a mixture of different type of foods there. There's a variety. Um, a lot of, I'm kind of in charge of the entertainment. So I try and bring as as many different entertainment acts, uh, a variety um, so that way people can just come and um, experience something new and different every year. Um, from We do kid shows from, I brought in magicians before, um, jugglers. Uh, last year for a, a bunch of local musicians as well that come, we love to promote those. Where we live in a very awesome area where there's a lot of local uh, one man band type of a things that come around, but then I yeah. also like to to um, do things a little different. Last year we actually had a free dueling piano show, oh, wow. and uh, it brought many people um, there. Just a, a bunch of people that have never had a chance to go see a dueling piano act. Yep. free. Um, so you could they could come. It went over very well. It was so much fun. So that's just a little bit. I guess. In a nutshell. Okay. Very good. Very good. So how do you, where's your funding come from? Uh, we have amazing sponsors. There you so go. There we you go. Um, rely on a bunch of business sponsor sponsors and, and even local sponsors. We have something called the seed station. So um, for instance, you know, um, 
anybody, you know, if wants to donate, we have a big board that looks like a watermelon and then we slap their, their name on a seed and it looks like uh, they become a, a seed station. So for instance, Jake, if you just wanted to throw in $5, you could, whatever you or whatever, you could go out and you could see this big watermelon display and see your name up on the thing, um, up on the big watermelon board. <laughs> that's awesome. Seed station board. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Very, very good. Okay. Let's talk a little bit. Um, let's just talk a little bit for, for fun questions here. This is a segment where you get to ask me anything that you want to ask. Chris, what would you, uh, what would you throw my way? You know, um, I'm going to kind of steal this one that I recently got thrown my way, but if you could see any live performance act, um, what would it be? If I could see any current one, Artists, dead or alive? Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Um, you know, it's different for me, but I, I want to see Frank Sinatra. I, I want to see, oh. yeah, I want to see somebody before technology really took over and uh yeah i just i just there's just so much in his music that i really really appreciate and i think sinatra would be would be the he'd be at top of my list absolutely awesome. all right i'm throwing two questions at you yeah thank you i appreciate it. i'm throwing two questions at you number one what is the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life chris um so when you say concert, like a musician concert or? Yep, yep. Or if you're of... into Broadway, what's your best production? Okay. Uh, you know, I got to say The Lion King. And that's okay. just because we just, I just took my family to it yesterday. Oh, my perfect. wife and I, it was our third time. We took our kids for the first time. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah. I just have to say, just because it's so fresh yeah. in my mind, it's amazing. The costumes, the performance, the story, the songs, it's just. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Okay, perfect, perfect. What, uh, dead or alive, you could bring one musical act to Fayette. Who would you bring for your town? This is kind of funny, Jake, because I was just, when you said your answer, I'm like, wow. Um, I was trying to think of this as well this morning. And I think I would say Elvis Presley. Mm. And again, it's kind of like um, what you said, you know, like before technology and and I, and I have to admit, um, my kids and I went to that, the new Elvis movie that came out last year. And, um, and so there's just so many to narrow, too many choices to narrow it down, but that's probably fresh on the top of my list just because he changed so much of the music industry. And, um, yeah. And yeah. That's perfect. All right. Let's jump ahead. Chris, how do people find out more about Watermelon Days and how can they get in contact with y'all? Perfect. The best, I would just throw us to our, or throw them to our internet site, FayetteWatermelonDays.com. Uh, FayetteWatermelonDays.com. We're also on Facebook, so you can look us up on Facebook. And um, again, we don't really release a lot of too many big things until more like midsummer. Yep. Because we just yep. don't want to compete with all the other summer fairs and festivals. Um kind of let them all have their glory. And and so usually it's towards the end of summer when we'll start throwing a bunch of things out. Perfect. Perfect. That's awesome, guys. Check them out. Chris, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jake. You bet. Well, baby, I'm on with a ball.